Hi, this is Fazana again. Welcome to yet another new topic on FASMATS. In this video, we'll look at how to calculate the volume and surface area of cubes and cuboids. Questions relating to this topic test you on applying the correct formula and then rearranging the formula when you're asked to find the radius or height of the 3D shape when you're given the volume. How you approach the question and your layout of the answer is crucial. So let's do some examples and I'll show you how easy it is. Yeah, we'll start off with an easy question, warm up. <laughs> okay, shown below is a cube of side five centimeters. Work out the volume of the cube. Yeah, so a cube is easy. You just go volume equals five times five times five. Yeah, and you get 125 centimeters cubed. Okay, what it's basically basically asking you, because it's a 3D shape, it's asking you how many cubes of one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. This is my attempt at drawing the cube. <laughs> yeah, so of one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter, can you fit in there? So if you had like um, sweets or mini juice cartons, yeah, and you'd get five in there, and then you'd get them five of them up there, and then five across, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you could actually get 125 um, one centimeter cubes in that shape, okay? So basically that's what it is. And you can see, so you're looking at cubes, and that's your centimeter cube. Yeah, all right. Okay. And a cuboid, again, is basically the same. So the volume is just 9 times 2 times 3 equals 54 centimeter cubed. Okay. Cubes and cuboids are just prisms. Yeah. So you know when we're doing the volume of a prism, you just do, um, sorry, the volume equals the area of the cross section. Times the length or the height. Yeah, so you can see that's just the cross section. <laughs> yeah, so you're taking the area of the cross section, which is the nine times three, and then multiplying it by the length of two. All right, okay. Now let's get a bit more interesting. Find the surface area of the cube. So again, you can tell the surface area of the cube means the total area of all the surfaces. So you know that they are six surfaces. Yeah, so the area of that particular surface is just four times four. And then because you've got six surfaces, you multiply it by six, yeah? And you get 96 centimeters squared, okay? So <coughs> a surface area of a cube is just um, the area of one of the sides and then multiply it by six because each one of them will be 16, yeah? All right, okay. If the surface area was given, so if, they, they told you that the surface area is 96 centimeters squared, and they ask you to find length of side, yeah, and you know all the sides are equal. So then you'd say, okay, so 96 divided by 6, which is 16, will be the area of one face. And because you know they, the, what the face is a square, yeah? So you'd say the length equals the square root of 16, which is four, yeah? So you'd go back, get back to your four, all right? Yeah, as easy as that. So it's all just a case of rearranging if 
they ask you if they give you the surface area and you have to find the length. All right. Okay, next. Okay, find the surface area of the cuboid. Okay, this one's just a little bit, um, um, you know, going up a level. Yeah, okay, so it just means you've got to take um, the surface area, the area of each of the squares. So let's just put some down here. So you've got it five and you've got six there. And you've got 10 there. Yeah, so just put as much as feels comfortable. Okay. So again, you know it's got six faces. So I always write down how many faces it has. Yeah. And then if we take the area of that, then that would be 5 times 10. But we know that at the back, it'll also be 5 times 10. So we've got two lots of that. Yeah. And I don't calculate yet. I just try and put everything down. And then if we took the area of that, it would be 5 times 6. And we've got two of those because you know even that side will be the same. And then we take the area of that, which is 6 times 10. And we've got two of those. Yeah, so can you see we've got our six faces? Yeah. And you can see... Each of the numbers is multiplied by the other in turn. So you've got 5 times 10 and 5 times 6. 10 has been multiplied by 5 and by 6. And the 6 has been multiplied by the 5 and the 10. Yeah, all right. So 50 times 2 is 100. 30 times 2 is 60. 60 times 2 is 120. And we get 280 centimeter squared. All right, that was okay. Good. Sometimes what they do is they actually give you um, the areas of the shape. Yeah. So if areas are given, and you have to find the dimensions. Okay. So here they'd actually tell you that that is fifty centimeters squared. That is 60 centimeters squared, and that is 30 centimeters squared. And they ask you to find the dimensions. So what you do is you look at the 50 and the 60, and you think, what do they have in common? Okay, they have 10 in common, yeah? So that could be 10, yeah? So if that was 10 there, then that would be 6 there. And if that is 10 there, then that would be 5 there. And then the 5 times 6 comes to 30. So can you see you're just playing around with sort of factors to find out um, the dimensions here? Yeah? All right, so that wasn't so bad, yeah? So it sort of says find dimensions. Yeah, cool. So you've got the 5 centimeters 10 centimeters 6 centimeters and of course then they could uh, ask you um, calculate the volume and then you just go 5 times 10 times 6 so that's 30 times 10 which is 300 centimeter <laughs> okay, all right. Good. So you can see that can um, generate quite a lot of questions. Yeah, but we all know how to tackle each one of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Okay, a cuboid is shown below. The volume of the cuboid is 105 centimeter cubed. Okay, so this one's really easy because we know the volume is just length times width times height. So I just write that, length times width times height. And then go write what we know. So we've got 105 equals 7 times 3 times height. Yeah, um, And that comes to 21. So we've got 105 equals 21H divided by 21. So H equals 105 divided by 21, which is 5. 
centimeters. Okay, so y is five centimeters. So that was really quite um, simple and straightforward. Here, yeah? okay, let's try bringing some algebra in here. Yeah? So let's make that um, x. Sorry, I love my x's. Yeah. Uh, we'll keep that as 3. And we'll make that x plus 2. All right. And then they tell you the volume of the cuboid is 105. OK. So basically what we do is we say, OK, so that times that times that. So we'll go 3 times x is 3x times x plus 2. So remember the brackets and you get 105. OK, expand. We've got 3x squared plus 6x equals 105. <coughs> That's a quadratic um, equation. So you know with quadratic equations, we always make one side 0. So we'll minus the 105. So you've got 3x squared plus 6x minus 105. Yeah? When you're doing quadratics, always just check if everything can go into um, 2 or 3, yeah? then we can actually factorize. So this can be factorized because we can um, everything is divisible by 3. So we get x squared plus 2x minus 35 equals 0. Now, as long as that expression is 0, it doesn't matter what, what is out there. It's irrelevant, yeah? Because 0 times 3 will become 0, okay? And I hope you've watched my video on factorizing with 1x squared, yeah? Where you have to think of two numbers that add to give 2 and multiply to give minus 35. So if it multiplies to give a minus, you know one's a positive and one's a negative. Now factors of 35 that have a difference of 2 here. Yeah? Um, so you get 7 and 5. Yeah? The sign of the bigger number rule, so if that's a plus, the bigger number will be a plus. So then you just put it in brackets, x plus 7, x minus 5 equals 0. So x would be minus 7 or x equals 5. We can't really have that because it's a dimension so you can't have minus 7 centimeters. So we know our answer is x equals 5. Yeah? And we had that didn't we? Because that y was 5. Yeah? So we had 5 there and then we had 3 there and then 5 plus 2 is 7. Okay, yeah, so can you see they can ask it to you with numbers, with letters, doesn't make a difference, yeah, because we can handle it, right? Right, <laughs> okay. Next question. A carton of milk is shown below. The carton is in the shape of a cuboid, 15 by 8 by 5. The depth of the milk in the carton is 12. Okay, so it's not quite 15. It's just filled up to there. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Make as many uh, so, uh, squiggles as you want, yeah? Uh, just to smile in the exams. Okay. The carton is turned, so it stands on the stand shaded orange face. Okay, so you can see if you tilt it, it's actually going, that will be the base of it. Yeah, all right. Work out the depth of the milk now. Sorry, I haven't made it 3D. Yeah, but what I wanted to show you is that was the base. Okay, so that orange face is going to be there. Yeah, and sorry, I didn't color it either. Okay, so the volume of the milk in there. Equals um, 12 times 5 times 8, which is 480 centimeter cubed. Okay. Now, because the depth, uh, the base is 8 times 15, yeah, so then we say um, the 8 times the 15 
times the depth will be equal to the volume of the milk, which is 480 centimeter cubed, yeah? And 15 times 8 comes to 120. So we've got 120 D equals 480. And then divide by 120. I always write this on, on the side. It takes roughly a second to do, but it just gives you that sense of direction and there's no way you're going to do anything wrong, yeah? So uh, D equals 480 divided by 120. And we know our 12 times tables, so we know that's 4 centimetres. Okay, so that's the de depth of the milk now. All right, yeah, good. Okay, so no matter how wordy it is, no matter how different it looks, um, basically, as long as you're just using the formula, yeah? Okay, the diagram shows two boxes that are cuboids. The larger box measures 20 by 10 by 20. It's partly filled with 70 smaller boxes, each measuring 5 by 5 by 2. The smaller boxes are uh, packed so there are no gaps between them. Here. Um, okay, I think it's left out the question here. <laughs> okay, so it's saying how many... Small boxes can fit in the larger box. Yeah, not really how many maximum number. Okay, yeah, all right. So basically, what we do is we try to fit those in there. So we know it's a volume question. So what you do is you do the volume of the big divided by the volume of the small. And that should give your answer. Yeah, all right. So let's take the volume of the big. Equals 20 times 20 times 10. So 2 times 2 is 4, and add all our zeros. And the volume of the small is 5 times 5 times 2, which is 50. So we've got 4,000 divided by 50, and we get 80. All right, yeah, okay. Um, these numbers are really quite uh, friendly, user friendly. <coughs> so remember when I was talking about cartons of juices, it's like how many of those fives could fit into the 20? So that would be four. Yeah, so you could get four lots of, so you'd have five there and five there and five there and five there. Yeah. And how many of the fives could fit in that 10? Yeah, so you could see that would be two. And how many of those twos could fit into 20? Yeah, and I'm just going to draw them. Yeah, so that would be 10. So can you see if you do 10 times 4 times 2, you actually get 80. Yeah, so that's a brilliant check. All right, good. Let's carry on. Okay, the diagram shows a container in the shape of a cuboid, so 2 by 4 by 3. Ben wants to paint the four outside walls, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and, and the top of the container. Yeah, so the total number of sides is 5. Okay, so you're not covering the bottom, okay? No. Okay, one tin of paint covers six meter cute. All right. Okay. One tin. How many tins of paint does Ben need? Now, when I'm trying to um, always try and plan. Um, so when you're planning, 
you can actually like even prepare yeah so when you plan you're thinking okay so i'm going to find the surface area of the paint i need yeah so you know it's an area question and then i'm actually going to divide it by six because every tin of paint covers six meter cubed yeah and that will be the number of tins okay now can you see you don't even have to look at the question again ever <laughs> okay so let's take the surface area so let's do the top first so the top will be four times three oh and i just put my five there so four times three and we've only got one of those because we're not taking the bottom so we've got 12 and then the side would be three times two but we've got two of those so six times two is also 12 and then the front and the back will be four times two and um, we have two of those so eight times two is 16. Okay. So we add those up and we get 40 meters squared. Okay, so that's the surface area of the five sides. Okay, so then we just say number of tins equals 40 divided by the 6. And we get 6, 36, remainder 4, so 4, 6 is 2 thirds. So we need six and two thirds tins, but we can't get, we have to get a full number of tins. Yeah. So you can see you're rounding it up to seven tins. All right. Yeah. Okay. These questions are um, helpful, hopefully, <laughs> and they're easy to understand. Definitely. Um, I'm uploading a lot of videos on volume and surface area of other 3D shapes. Once you've watched them all, you'll be ultra confident. Yeah? Keep practicing. Work hard. It's so worth it. And remember, you're in control. See you in the next video. Mm -hmm. Until then, take care. Bye.